Hey, what's up everybody? So today we're playing some Esper Legends and Standard Best of One. The new set is out, so we got some cool new tools to work with, such as Malcolm, the Alluring Scoundrel. This is another legendary creature that lets you loot, and when it really gets going, you get to play those discarded cards for free, which is pretty busted. And we're also playing three subterranean schooners. So in my testing so far, this card has been great. I don't know if three is the right number. I don't know if any is the right number, honestly, but I'm interested in this card. It's been good so far, so I need more testing with it to see how it goes. Um, and you'll also notice in this deck we're not playing any Thalias. I've completely removed those, and I'm playing four Go For The Throats. And the reason is, is Shieldred. Playing against other Shieldreds, you just have to have an answer. So I want to make sure I can kill a Shieldred when I need to. And I'm just not losing to Shieldreds because I can't do anything about it. So that's pretty much it. This deck is good in best of one and best of three. We do have a sideboard for this list, but as I said, we're going to be running best of one for this video. Uh, not the best hand, but okay. Mono white. A lot of mono white lately, it seems like. Really makes me want to play cut down. Play our schooner. Good thing they didn't have Thalia. Cathar's a little annoying. I pretty much have to kill that right away before he gets out of hand. Really wish I had Skrelv here so I could at least attack with the schooner. Um, I mean, even if I play the Mastermind and attack with the Schooner, like, the only value I really get would be, like, exploring once. Like, they're going to just block anyway. Maybe they put it on the Cathar. Nope, they don't want to do that. But we will kill it anyway. And I really think maybe I should be running Gix Command. It would have been nice to... Um... I guess maybe I should have just played Mastermind and attack with Skinner there. That might have been a mistake. Um, but I guess not, because now I can actually... Flash in Mastermind and then surprise block with the Skinner. Of course that's what I was planning to do. Which they go for it. So let them scry first before we show them our play. Left it on top. Wait, did they top bottom? Maybe I missed that. Well, at least we could got, got rid of that. That was a huge problem. But the other problem is we're not really doing anything right now. Well, at least I can play a Ganja next turn. Oops. Let's attack. Uh, do I want this? Probably. God, my cat is going crazy over here. I don't know what she's doing. Mm. 
Get out of here, cat. I will definitely block the foundry with my mastermind. Pretty happy about that block, honestly. Now we just need to draw a shieldred. I guess they could have removed two counters and killed my Skinner if they really wanted to. All right. Definitely have come back here. Um, I think we just attack and we can loot. So let's get rid of that. Play our Rona. I know we left, like, we can't leave our Urtai up now, but I think this is fine, too, just being able to crew of the Skinner and block. What do they have? Spellbook Vendor, that's pretty good. So they're not gonna attack. Um, okay. We're just gonna play this too. Actually, let's go ahead and get a loot in. Uh, Shieldred's here. Maybe we should have looted first. Uh, well, let's see if we can explore actually. Nice. That's perfect. Yeah, we can get rid of Skrelv. And we untap our Rona. Alright, and now they're at six as well, and we have some pretty good blockers. I feel like this is a game we were kind of losing pretty much the entire game until the last pre like maybe two previous turns getting a land there from the explorer was pretty lucky though okay have it series pretty good draw pump their stuff It's still really hard to attack in this shielder, though. I'm not going to block. I'll go to one. Ooh. That's pretty much exactly what we needed. Let's go ahead and loot just to get the extra two life here. So this will pretty much discard everything. <laughs> so let's think here. This is an important turn. I guess I'm debating what I should attack with exactly. I'm guessing we probably could explore here. I don't mind throwing away this schooner. We'll leave that on top, because that's just more stuff we discard. Then it becomes a 4-5. 
So if they want to trade with their adversary, I'm pretty happy about that. And then I'm happy with whatever the Skinner does. I'm actually really surprised they took that block, honestly. All right, so we'll gain two more life. We're back up to 17 now. And now I have a good block on the extraction specialist. I have pretty much all good blocks here. All right, they'll just concede. That was that was a good game. Ooh, won the dice roll. Oh, this thing is really good. I like this. Probably go Skrelv, Schooner. And then probably Denek, if we don't draw something better. If we don't draw Ruffine. Mono Red. Definitely important to win the dice roll against Mono Red. Oh, but you know what's juicy here is just make disappear whatever they play. Ah, uh, give me the Schooner. If they play a haste creature, this 3-4 is going to block pretty much anything they play. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> That's how that played out. I think I'd just rather find a black source because, geez, we don't have any. I'll play our Dinic. They have to deal with Dinic to attack with this 2 2. Esper Legends just has some, just makes really awkward blocks for Mono Red. Well, that'll do it. I'm still going to block, though. Yeah, they get to draw a card, which is pretty annoying. Thran Portal. I don't even know what this does anymore. So they're playing green, too? Okay, Questing Druid's really good. All right, there's a Black Source. So now we can Fairy Mastermind plus make disappear. I'm going to just go ahead and play the Fairy Mastermind. So I, I can use it to attack with my Schooner, and now I can leave my Deflector, Defector Might up. There's a lot of lands in our deck. I think this deck plays like 26, 27 lands. So exploring is pretty good. I'm going to counter the scam. I'll just protect us from any of their pump shenanigans they're going to do. Sure. All right, we drew a black source, which is good. Now we can play Shieldred. And we're gonna crew. Drew another land. Opponents at six, they're gonna get a four. And I can protect the shielded with Defector Might. I don't know what they can play to get out of this because they know I have this land, so they know I can bounce whatever they play. I can pretty much make, I can make something unblockable. I'm 
thinking this is just GG's here. Unless they can do 19 damage to me somehow. They probably DC'd. Assuming they DC'd. Man, we get to sit, ponder our lives, think about the choices we've made, play with this blood fountain. Mm. This blood fountain make petals. <sighs> you know, it's just like two clicks to not be a douchebag. It just takes two clicks. One, two, two clicks. That's it. That's all it takes, people. I get sometimes some things happen, you know, like you're playing while you're driving your, your big rig, knees on the steering wheel, and you, you slam into another car. That's probably when you don't hit the two buttons, but... Come on. We'll give Zod here the benefit of the doubt. And now he would die. All right, GG's. All right, nice 2-0 start. All right, we get to go first again, which is sweet. And we get to go one, two, three drop. Pretty good. Well, assuming we draw a black source, okay. Now my cat is sitting on top of my PC and I can hear it. Hear the GPU fan kick on because it's not venting good now. Thank you, kitty. Love the draw black source. Rip, rip, rip. <sighs> All right, well, that's unfortunate. At least we have a make disappear. We have that going for us. I will protect it, my friend. Oops. Possible mistake there, I guess. <laughs> Unless they were just trying to get me to tap my Skrelv, but then they should have just played... Um, we're going to counter this. They should have just killed the Skrelv? I don't know. All right, we drew the Black Source. Let's go. Definitely discard that land. We can make it through this turn. We'll be in pretty good shape. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll do a roughie in here. Sure. They're probably going to go get a Sunfall, some other Sweeper, which kind of sucks. 
We can send Rafine back to our hand for one mana though, and I think that's probably what we'll do if they play a sweeper. Or we'll just ear tie, which would be good. I think we can get rid of this. Um, go for the throat. All right. They just go like land, sunfall, we can ear tie. Oh, so they're gonna go cut down here. Okay. Guess they didn't find a sweeper. I guess they learned their lesson from the first cut down. Liliana. Hmm. <laughs> I'd rather save this for... Um, a sweeper? I think I'll just sacrifice my Malcolm here. Or do I? Maybe I just sacrifice Dinek here. I think I like that. I can get more value out of Dinek. Is this one of those damage to a player? Yeah. So we'll attack like this. Get rid of this go for the throw and the land. I guess we have an extra Rafine just if this one dies. Get rid of another land. And then we're just going to sit on this air tie as long as we can. Our biggest concern is a sweeper. But, I mean, if we if they play, if they tap out here, we can play it and just win the game. Wandering Emperor. Um, I think I like using it here. Just keep discarding these lands. I mean, they have to have a sweeper here, which really sucks. They do. Okay, I guess they don't. Oh, that's pretty good. Alright, let's play Denek. You have a counter spell? We'll put it on Urtai so Urtai doesn't die. Next turn we'll do it on Rafine. We can possibly win the game again unless they drew another sweeper. Or a sweeper. I haven't drawn one yet. Or a removal spell. Pretty tight game. If they go for an attack here, then they definitely drew the sweeper. Okay. What you gonna do? Hmm. Okay. Let them pay the one. Now we use this on the token so they can't block our time. GG's. I think we probably, I don't know. 
I think we had that one turn where we could have went for the win like a little bit earlier. But I think playing around the sweeper is generally pretty good. Hmm. We're winning lots of dice rolls, which is pretty nice. This hand looks pretty good, too. Mono red again. Mono red with no turn one play. Unless they're just gonna kill my Skrelv. No? Now they are. All right, let's go to end step in case they have another strangle. Are you gonna kill my Malcolm? They're thinking about it. Hmm. I think we could probably discard this scrub here. Let's play our subterranean schooner. Hell yeah, I'm on a boat. Alright, they don't want me attacking. But you're wasting all these valuable burn spells when really what you're gonna have to deal with is Shieldred. Shield Daddy. Let's get a little exploration here. Yeah, we'll put that on bottom. Whenever ill-tempered loners deal damage, it deals that much damage to any target. You can pump them. I mean, it, it just looks like a creature that just needs to die, right? Pretty cool idea to land there, actually. I can play my Malcolm. I mean, I think this game's pretty much wrapped up anyway, but... I don't know. You never know. There are three. Sure. I don't think that helps them in any way, but, like, what else are they going to do? They don't have another... Uh, putting this plus one, plus one counter on this was huge, actually, huh? Like, they would need to use two burn spells. You got it, man. I'll take your five damage. I'm just spinning the basketball on my finger right now. GG's. That game felt pretty easy. Punnett didn't really do much, honestly. Alright, what are we, four No, Yeah. Alright, winning another dice roll. The sand kind of sucks, though. I'm going to keep it. I mean, at least I can go Rona into maybe a Ganjo? Okay, go for the throw. But if they're playing mono blue, maybe not. Are they going to send it back to my hand? Yes, no, yes, no. Hmm. 
Um, probably this is the land I play right now. Let's go ahead and loot, see if we can't find something to do. Maybe I should have looted first. We did not find anything to do. Let's loot before we play Shieldred. That is a lot of Shieldreds. Maybe they have a counter for one. They do. I mean, it's possible I could have just kept that other one. Play Shieldred three times in a row. Maybe one resolves. I'm assuming we're going to loot here. We'll probably discard this at Ganjo. I have to assume they have more counters in their hand. Uh, maybe we can just get rid of Sanctum. I don't think I need the Skrull, really. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I get rid of the Ganjo. It's gonna suck if they play uh, the Zero Four Flyer guy. I don't have a way to deal with it. Let's go for another Shieldred, though. Hmm. It resolved. Let's get a loot. This is kind of tough. Yeah, we can discard Dinic. 2 3 lifelink, I don't think is the best matchup against Mono Blue. There's the Fading Hope. I think I won all these cards, so I'm going to attack. Yeah, now they're going to start slamming down their creatures. It's Ward 2, right? Um... Um, 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 um. What are the chances of us getting a rough fiend? Let's get a loop. Pretty much always loop. Um, let's loot again. I actually want to land, I think. Okay. Guess my idea was, um, I can use Odawara on Talarian Terror. Fading Hope is pretty annoying. Oh, no, I had Skrelv. Uh, what am I doing? All right, just punt. That's cool. Um, well, I meant to scrub there, and I just completely passed through it. Feels bad. Feels real bad. 
It's like the whole point of having scrub down. That was the whole point. Another terror. Alright, let's loot. Loot again. I want to play this land. I will pass. Weird they didn't attack. I feel like they should have attacked with last turn. Well, there's definitely the target we want for our go for the throat. Why did I discard that other one? That was dumb. We're just going to take big 10 here. Let's play this. Let's get a loot. Discard one of the Edoaras. We'll gain a plenty of life here. Um, 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 um. Yeah, we'll just pass. I guess I maybe could have played Malcolm last turn just to kind of play around a counter spell. Hopefully they don't have another gen. I'll just take 10 again. I know I can gain so much life here. Can even get another loot in. Gain two more life. Ooh, I should have played my Dinnick first. Dang it. That was a mistake. I'm making terrible mistakes this match. Terrible, terrible mistakes. Um, well, I definitely want to discard at least one card so I can have a 5-6 to start blocking those. Alright, that's a lot of damage. Alright, they'll just concede. I guess we got just too far ahead. GG's, we played that game very terribly. <laughs> Alright, five wins. Can we get the perfect 7-0? Really the biggest story is we've been winning the dice rolls. So important. Especially in best of one. Blossoming Sands, what is this? All right, we gotta play a Ganjo here because these two will come into play tap. Naturalist. I mean, that could go ham here, so who knows how this will go. Mm. I'm going to discard a land. I 
Uh, well, I'm gonna discard another land. I don't want to. Like, if I was gonna discard the Rafine, I should have done it from the Rafine so I could get that counter here. But I have plenty of lands. I don't. I don't think I need to keep keep lands here. Next turn, we're just going to play Shieldred and attack. Start gaining a shitload of life. Yeah, it's pre pretty good, I guess. Can't block. But I can gain some life, too. Um, go for the throw will be good here. Mm, we'll discard one. Remember, once this gets to four counters, you pretty much just start going ham. You start casting all your cards for free. Ossification. Are they going to take children? Makes sense. Naturalist really lets them go ham. That is for sure. Definitely going to kill that. Let's just get it out of here. Get rid of Skrelv. Um, probably caves, I think. Get rid of another Dinnick. I could either play... So I have several options here. I could play Dinnick. I could hold up Iganjo, Or I could play the Schooner. I think I'm just going to play Dinnick. Like, I could play the Schooner. But then I don't have any way to crew it. And block. That's a good draw. Hmm, that's a really good pickup. Our Malcolm goes to four counters next turn, though. So let's see what we can get. Shieldred is good. I get rid of a K's. Ah, uh, maybe I want the K's. I want the K's because I want to play Shieldred and hold up a Ganjo. I think that's what I want to do. Oh, wait, no, I'm going to get to play Shieldred for free. Oh, no. I'm bad. That's bad. Bad. It's fine. Everything is fine. All right, we're pretty ahead, I think. Um, depends on, you know, what their Kallax ends up doing. I mean, actually, the Odawar was pretty good pickup. I mean, if I send it back to their hand, they just get to play it again. Hmm. 
What else you got? Kind of interested to see how they attack. I'm assuming it's just going to be with this. Oh, they're getting in there? You're going to attack with Calyx? Oh, okay. I mean, the 7-7 seven, seven I get. I'll take seven. Now, do I want to bounce something? That's the question. Maybe I wait and see how they block. Let's go. Oh god, it's like all lands. Actually, maybe I keep the subterranean schooner because I can play that for free. Nah, let's get rid of it. All right, before blocks. Before blocks. <laughs> All right. Got him. All right, let's try to get this last win. We sweep and go perfect 7-0 here. Didn't realize my mic was muted, but okay. Um, crap, maybe I shouldn't have kept this. We don't have a blue source. So if we don't draw a blue source, we're pretty much gonna do nothing. Hi. All right, well, we did something. I took a quick glance at this hand. I was like, oh, this is a keeper. Get in there, schooner. All right. Well, that was actually a pretty huge pickup. I guess we're playing against blue-black control. Ah, shield red. See, and that's kind of like what I was talking about. It's like, if you don't have a go for the throat, then it's like, if, if, if they have a way to kill my shield red, then it, like, you pretty much just lose. I'll block. I will block. Uh, if they don't have another shielder to follow up with, then what are they doing? I'm assuming they're just going to play another one. I am so confused. I am just so confused right now. And they don't have a counter spell. What is happening? Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm going to keep this. I guess I have to get rid of like a planeswalker or another shieldred. 
Or maybe they draw enough mana to play the Virgil for the enchantment side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they do have enough mana. <laughs> they just lost six life from that. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Yeah, they can play that. So I want to make sure I could counter that. Or do I care? They can, I guess they can get a shielded, which would be pretty annoying. They'll get to play something for free. All right, what did you leave on top? I am so confused right now. I am just, I, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know what's happening. I mean, <laughs> what did they expect? All right, well, since they use that, since they just have another one, let's counter this. I mean, like they have two. Um, I mean, I guess they have to draw another land now since they use the treasure token. But it'll be slow enough. This will be, this will be good. I don't want to defect our might right now. Discard that, discard that, discard that. Seems pretty good. Seems like we're just gonna win here. <laughs> GG's. <laughs> All right, we did it. Perfect 7-0. Perfect 7-0 with Esper Legends, no Thalia, playing with the Schooner. Like, did y'all think the Schooner was pretty good there? It seemed like the Schooner did some work in most of the games. Like, I, I'm pretty happy with how the Schooner has been performing. And since I'm playing, like, a few more spells than, um, you know, like what the basic stock list of Esper Legends has, then... You know, I, I think I'd like not having the Thalia. So I'm I'm pretty happy with this build. And I think Malcolm has been good. I think the Schooner has been good. I think having extra go for the throats for Shieldred has been good. Um, yeah, pretty happy at the state of this deck right now. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. And uh, the next deck I'm going to play is... Um, it has the Millennial Counter in it. Millennial Calendar? What is it called? Um... That's that's basically the next deck I'm going to play. The Millennium Calendar um, is a deck revolved around winning with this. So stay tuned for that. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.